Hi, it's B22 Chris, and this is the first boot up process of the new iPod Touch. So once you turn it on, you get a uh, screen right here. Slide to unlock. You want to choose your language there and your country. Next. Enable location services. I'm going to hit yes. And uh, you're going to choose your uh, choose your network here. Type in my password. And join there. All right. Next. And it's activating my iPod. So this is set up as new iPod Touch, restore from iCloud backup, and restore from iTunes backup. So if you have a previous iPod Touch or anything else programmed into the cloud, you can uh, use this to back it up, but uh, my iPhone 3GS is not on iOS 5 yet, so I just gotta hit next. Uh, sign in with Apple ID. Terms and conditions. Agree. Hopefully, I don't get a human centipod, human centipad after me. A little South Park reference there. And uh, it takes a few minutes. It says to set up your Apple ID, even though I already have one. Don't know what that's about. So we'll just wait until that's done. And again, I just picked this up from Best Buy for $1.99. I think they, uh, the iPod, the white version that I got just came out a few days ago when they released the uh, iPhone 5, 4S. So it should be running uh, iOS 5 here. Okay, and it asks you if you want to use the cloud or to not use the cloud. I'm definitely going to use the cloud. One of the reasons why I guess I got this next um, guess I'll find my iPod touch it says you can use it to track where your iPod touch is and you gotta set up my email so it's automatically using the one that I have for my iTunes account and it's uh, setting that up there some new emails. Okay. Diagnostics and usage. Help Apple improve its products and services by automatically sending daily diagnostics and usage data. May include the okay, I'm gonna not don't send that. And that'll all send if you choose to do that um, when you plug it in at night to charge. So I'm gonna start using iPod Touch. There it is. Really uh, good looking screen. I got a, a screen protector on here. It's supposed to be anti glare, I guess, or anti fingerprint. And uh, it doesn't really take away from the uh, the retina display. It still all looks good. Got some emails here. You can use uh, FaceTime and everything else. So, might be doing a review of this in the future. So, just uh, stay tuned. Thanks.